alpha males, men that aren't cowards, men that aren't going to be pushed around, men that aren't going to be slaves, they hate you. And when they're done with the veterans, or they see as the most manly of the men, they're going to go after everybody else, ladies and gentlemen. Because you take down the men, you got the women, you got the children. Hitler said, first you get the women, then you've got the children, so follow the men. You culturally get the women to follow your political correctness. And then you can take down the men. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you put out a false narrative to the women. That if you do what the state says and play ball with an anti state and treat your men like they're your children and take your nurturing instinct and turn it into a police state instinct, you'll have a great life. Ladies, you got a great life going down this road? You really feel empowered with men emasculated and dominated? No, you now got the state coming down on you like a ton of bricks. Let's go to Mike Howard of WNFZ 94.3, simulcast on 8.50 a.m. in Knoxville. Thank you so much for joining us and coming on, Mike. There's so much to talk about. What is your take on all the things that are unfolding in this hubris and, and, and this breaking point I know you've been talking about? I, you know, I, I, I've, I've been sitting here for the past uh, 20 minutes or so listening to you, trying not to get uh, too upset before I went on with you. But, uh, you know, this this latest this latest round with the with the VA, uh, my dad, my dad's a vet. Um, my grandfather uh, is a vet. Um, and to, to see how vets are treated, to see how we take these these incredible men, these heroes, um, who gave their time, who gave their families, who gave their lives, who gave their limbs, who gave everything they had, so that these leaders, quote unquote, in Washington, then can then turn around and say, "Great, you're an expendable resource. We're done with you now. Now it's time for you to just go away." As long as, as long as we can trot you out every Memorial Day and trot you out every Veterans Day and uh, throw a little parade, and then the rest of the time just stay out of our sight because we don't want to see you. In fact, if you would just go into a corner somewhere and just just disappear, that would be even better for us. Um, it. It is unconscionable. It is absolutely one of the most despicable, one of the most despicable, disgusting things I think we do to any class of people in this in this country now. And it and the sad fact of the matter, it's not just vets. You know, uh, when you look at uh, over the course of uh, six years, eighty thousand plus active duty military uh, being subjected to sexual assault. Um, this is how we treat our active duty military. This is how we treat the people that that go out right now and 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 fight for our freedoms, that that fight for these idiots in Washington. The generals are in places. brand new lavish jets, and for the first time ever, the troops crap in buckets on the C 130s and everything's rotting with lice crawling all over everything. I mean, it is a total degeneration of the system. It it, it doesn't make any sense in in any way, shape, or form. Thankfully, though, I. I recently got to see, and I have to share this because you've got to find some good somewhere. You have to, otherwise, you you go crazy watching this idiocy just just go on and on and on. Uh, a couple weeks ago, my my oldest son graduated from the University of Tennessee. Um, very proud of him. It was it was great to watch the class walk. At the very end of their their graduation ceremony, they brought ten ROTC members to come in and get their commission as officers. So we sat there in this crowded arena in downtown Knoxville and watched these 10 soon to be officers walk in, march in, and the students, the students, the graduates all sitting down there started the applause and they stood to their feet and they and they applauded them as they walked in. And you'll, you'll have to forgive me because it, it was a very moving experience. I was standing there with my dad and he had tears in his eyes. I had tears in my eyes. And to watch these these graduates, these students, leap to their feet and cheer their classmates on, who will, you know, within a few months' time, uh, be overseas serving this country.
And then again, as they left, the same thing. The students stood and started this applause. But now uh, will they do something? People that have actually served and been through the fire is the larger issue. It illustrates how it's all just so surface in the media to yeah. appreciate the veterans and the troops. But then do we throw them out like garbage? I agree. Let's talk about that tipping point, that breaking point. What you think's coming when we get back. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud, the fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste, and safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com more and more people are discovering the incredible benefits of alkalizing the body. And there's no better product for it than AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops. Packed with a powerful combination of the most alkaline minerals and compounds, just a few drops in water will rid your body of harmful waste and give you more vibrance and vigor than you've had in years. Now buy two bottles and get $10 off your order. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER Silver 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. We've got Mike Howard, the host of The Root Awakening, on our AM and FM affiliate in Knoxville. They have the morning show. They're always enjoying going on the show, so I wanted to get him on to give his take on things. You know, we speak about the hubris of government, major corporations, and the system, because more and more they're above the law. There's a video up on Infowars.com that I've now watched during the breaks of uh, the police basically bashing a man's testicles in 
until he lost one of his testicles. And they get him out of the car, they arrest him, and then they knee him in the testicles till he loses one of his testicles for no reason. And the police say, well, he was resisting us, and I've watched the video. No, they're just physically attacking him. And it's the same department that shoots homeless people in the back and then celebrates and goes, booyah, yeah. And then the guy's dead, and they let the dog bite him and just bite on him and shoot. I mean, it's just crazy people. And that's what we're talking about, folks, is a system where everybody you know, salutes you know, the ROTC and the rest of it because at a primitive level, these are our warriors, our young men going off to battle. We're meant to support that at a very primitive level. But then what happens once they come back? Uh, going back to Mike Howard, Mike, you, you've been talking a lot about this tipping point. Do you think the system's trying to push us into a revolution or do they just not care anymore? Oh no! I think they're I think they're trying to push us into some sort of break. I, I think the it's not so much a grand revolution as the fact it's 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 divide and conquer. It's the divide and conquer method. It's it's take everybody and break them into into subsets and break them into groups. Uh, black versus white, gay versus straight, man versus woman, rich versus poor, um, young versus old. You can break it down however many ways you want to. All you got to do is watch. Uh, any given nightly newscast, any any mainstream media uh, newscast out there, and you'll see uh, it's you know it's some group versus another group, it's some agenda versus another agenda. And they're taking and all of our basic liberties together. We're all collectively getting screwed, but yeah. it's okay because we're being taught to think of problems being caused by someone being different. Sure, absolutely. Because as long as you can keep everybody fighting amongst themselves then it's easy to keep them focused on everything but what's actually going on. While you're doing this over here, while you're fighting and, and your little skirmishes are going on in your own little camps, then we're going to go ahead and do this over here. So by the time you're done, you're going to turn around and go, what happened? When, when did this happen? Where does, your gut, where does your gut tell you it's all going? The scary thing is, you know, being, being a father, the, the scary thing is, I, I think it's going to get worse before it gets any better. I think it's getting to a point where people are getting so, they're getting so incensed, they're getting so pushed to the to the breaking point that it's they're going to get us to the point where we just give in. You know, we're either. I think that's it. They're trying to put us into a catatonic state sure. of just so much stimulus, learned helplessness, where we just have Stockholm syndrome, basically. Uh, and just roll over. That is the tactic. That's why they publicly lie and say, there's no one coming for your guns. There's no death panels. There's no $5,000 fine. You didn't build your business. Raising the debt limit doesn't raise the debt limit. It's, but I don't think it's going to work. I, I hope it's not. The, the, thing that's, the thing that frightens me the most, though, is that, you know, for a large part of the population, you got people that are so focused on, you know, really important things like like what so-and-so is doing on what reality show or what, what team might be going to the Super Bowl this year. That's all great and good, and that's wonderful entertainment. But in the long run, it has nothing to do with, with anything that actually matters. So we're all focused, that we are a large portion focused on all these other insignificant things or fighting these these moral battles amongst their amongst their little tribes, and yet... The few people that stand up, you, myself, uh, a handful of other people that stand up and say, look, this isn't right. There's something wrong here. Well, then you're labeled an extremist. You're a conspiracy theorist. You need to break out the tinfoil hats. There's something wrong with you. You're a rabble rouser. You're, uh, you're, just, you're just causing problems. You're spreading lies and you're spreading hoaxes. You know? Well, I'd that's like illustrated by uh, press and Sharpton last night on MSNBC. They actually said there is no VA story. There sure. is no abuse. There is no death list, even though it's there. They just say it doesn't exist. That can't work forever. As, apparently, as long as you ignore the problem, it doesn't really it doesn't really exist, right? If I don't if I don't acknowledge you, then you're not real. So if I don't say there's a problem, then apparently there's no problem, and apparently people buy into that. I mean, you look at what happened just to the north of us yesterday. Here you've got Mitch McConnell in this in what was going to be quoted the fight for his life, and he just easily walked back in and got his seat back. Because apparently after all the complaints, after all the things we heard negative, people went, eh, whatever. There's nothing I can do. I'll just stay at home and I won't vote. And all he had to do was get a small portion of his base to go out and vote. He gets his seat back. You well, know? look at Boehner, who says he's not going to let Obama act as a dictator, but he's been doing that. Let's come back and talk about that Hill headline, Winehouse picking up the pace on executive actions. 
how far will the establishment let Obama and the globalists go? As far as we let them. All this and a lot more plus Fukushima news coming up straight ahead. We're on the march.